look at the curls. Look at how gorgeous. Even my ends that are busted look good. I'm in love. This combo, elite. Brazilian mommies and poppies. I'm back with another one. And it's with Saline Line. We already did a review on this one. But a big shout out to Daddy's Girl 42194 because they suggested that we mix the Salon Line Aloe Gel with the Dew from Big Papa. So today, I'm about to blend our family. Brazilian mommies and poppies, American mommies and poppies. We are one today, we're gonna mix it, we're gonna try it, and I actually have faith, I think this is gonna be a really good combo. I think my hair's gonna look shiny. I'm hoping that it has enough hold for me, cause I live in Texas. I'm so clumsy. We good, we back. I live in Texas, it's hot, it's sticky, I need my hair to hold. Don't let, don't let the humidity through, hold. I won't go into this too much because I've done reviews on both of these. You can get this at Walmart, Target, directly from the website, you can get this on Amazon, and if you have a local Brazilian shop, go get it there, because this has increased in price. I've seen it as high as $30 on Amazon. Now to be fair, this is absolutely huge, it's one liter of gel, so it's gonna last you a long time. and watch the review this is a really good nice light gel if you have a looser curl pattern in mind you will eat this up because it gave me shine it gave me softness it was mm, it was there we just need a little hold and with this the big papa i felt like i had to use a lot of this to get there so i'm hoping that together this will give hold this will give shine and kind of like make my hair a little more flexible and manageable and softened you know, we're gonna see what it can do. Okay, my hair is freshly washed, so it actually is still wet and maintaining moisture, which we love. This says that it's for 2A, B, C, 3A, B, C, and 4A, B, C here. This says that it's for all curl types. They're both supposed to be defining curl gels. This doesn't say how long the hold is, but it definitely manages no crunch, no flaking. This says it's supposed to give you a 72 hour hold, but like, intense definition which i can stand by it's true it really was a good gel i can show you the big papa it's thick where it doesn't just fall out but you can see it kind of it's like jello it's moving it's flexible and then for the aloe gel super light product with a lot more slip you can see it moving just a little very slowly here but it's just thick enough but very much light so Daddy's girl, I actually do have good faith that this is about to work. I just hope that it works really well so that it can be a good go-to blend. Currently, what do I have in my hair? After my wash day on wet, soaking wet hair in the shower, I applied this Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I use this every wash day without a mist. The products from Uncle Funky's is good, but this Elite, I kind of use it as like my base gel slash leave-in it just softens the hair helps retain moisture keep it wet longer kind of really take in the product i almost think of it as like a makeup primer but for your hair i'm not going to reapply that it's already been applied we're good to go there so let me part my hair and then we're gonna do a tester together the way that this applies to the hair the brazilian mommies and poppies knew what they were doing and why they recommended it that's the first salon line product that I actually really like. The first one I use, it's the cream, and I did do a review on it. It wasn't working for my hair. I didn't like what it did, so that wasn't it. But this gel, I would recommend this, this gel to anyone, especially if you straight up ask me what's a good Brazilian product. I can tell you Scala. I think that's the first one that a lot of us were introduced to because that's what went viral on TikTok. Uh, but as I get more into it, I like Lola Cosmetics, but Salon Line, it really impressed me. Okay, so this is the before on my freshly washed hair. This is how the curls are looking. I need a haircut real bad. Just a spray bottle with water. We want to get it as wet as possible. This Salon Line aloe gel definitely reacts better to soaking wet hair. This is something new I've been incorporating, just a regular paddle brush. I had my Denman brush and this brush next to me. The Denman brush was yanking at my hair, causing more knots, and I just picked this up, wet my hair, and went like that. And it slipped through and gave me a really detangled, beautiful little bundle. So as long as my hair is soaking wet, I don't mind using this paddle. It's the first time I ever incorporated a paddle. Go to Walmart and get a little $5 paddle brush and take your time with it. Okay, drum roll. This is how much we're applying to the section because it's actually a pretty big section. We're gonna rub it through our hands. 
can't see it because it's literally clear and put it directly into the section Ooh, this smells so delicious it is definitely fragrance it actually smells more like a cologne but i love it it's so good also stop playing with the brazilian mommies and poppies salon line what did you put in this it's so juicy y'all seen that in live time i ain't do nothing but apply water detangle with a paddle brush and put the gel smooth it into my hair <sighs> gorgeous we're still here for a mission what is it to get a little more hold i think this is going to be the blend starting at the ends and just smoothing my way on up making sure i fully saturate the pieces wow wow do you see how gorgeous Can whoa what did we just do we just combined the cultures my hair is like soft and it feels like the water and the product are really seeping in because it's not puffy it just laid down and smoothed it down frizz wear nowhere to be seen that's our go-to line because it's important are we going to be frizzy if it's frizzy now can you imagine when it dries so the goal is always to avoid as much frizziness as possible during the styling so that when it dries we get a nice beautiful hold and coil now here's a question should i just leave it like this because it's coiling and curling on its own and when it dries it'll probably coil up even more should i just leave it so this is how it looks right now just simply applying the product and now let's finger coil to see how we feel oh something about finger coiling definitely does it for me because look at how bouncy and juicy this looks ah oh my god we definitely caused a lot of shrinkage by coiling but like that's so beautiful okay clearly this is about to be a beautiful outcome we're gonna keep going and let's see how we feel another thing that i'm loving about this combo is how quick i'll be able to do my wash and go because wetting it already helps me detangle adding this lays it down smooths the heck out of it and this really locks down the moisture locks in the style and prevents any frizz that was potentially coming this my hair is eating up the salon line gel that happened in the first review so i don't know why i'm acting so shocked but like wow and honestly i'll probably try this with a mousse too if this gel this big pop of gel doesn't mix well if it like in the end it doesn't give me what i was looking for in terms of hold i promise we're gonna keep trying it because this aloe gel deserves to be a part of the routine it has to be a part of my main roster okay so here's the back with just the aloe gel gorgeous it's a pretty big chunk and although i feel like i could get the product throughout i want to make sure that the big papa gets in the roots anything that the aloe gel misses the big papa catches shine 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 so shiny so soft you don't even need that much i'm heavy-handed period but you generally don't need a lot of either of these products to get the results you want i think the smoothing is working really well so smooth and then a little shaky shake to get that bounce back i have caused some heat damage in the back of my hair if you're not new here you know that but i have caused some heat damage for so for those pieces i'm gonna just let it wave that's why it looks so loose back there okay we have one half done and look at the shine you can see the shine from here that's fire it's so juicy look at the curls look at how gorgeous even my ends that are busted look good i'm in love this combo elite the movement in the hair is so nice like it's i have a little bounce so I'm not gonna play with it anymore. I'm gonna leave it be so I can keep as much of the definition and hold as possible. So let's go ahead and finish up this next side before we diffuse. This left side was not reacting as well just from the smoothing. I felt like it wasn't gonna be as defined and hold the curl. So I'm finger coiling the front side, especially. We're up to our last piece. Same process, wet the hair. Soak it really. Paddle brush the tangles out. Good amount of 
aloe gel. Smooth it into your hand. Start from the roots and smooth down. I really like to make sure I'm getting it into the roots. And then smoothing down, fully saturating that section of hair. Really quick, if you made this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're already vibe with your girl. On this channel, we care about growing our hair and having glowing skin. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and comment down below right now a curly hair product that you've been eyeing and are curious about that I should potentially try. Literally, comment down because if I'm interested, I am definitely going to try it for you guys. Also, don't forget to interact, watch the ads, like, comment. It's a party over here. So again, like, subscribe, and keep watching. And like, boom, I could leave it like this, but no, we trying to lock it in. All of these beautiful looks and results. Grabbing the big papa gel. Again, started from the roots and smoothing down. At that point, depending on how your hair dries, if you want to just leave it like this, because look at this beautiful after of applying both gels together. So shiny, so gorgeous. But I know how my hair dries, so I am going to finger coil it just to make sure I get the bounce and the coil that I'm looking for. There you go, we're all done. This is the side I literally just did. And this is the side that's been drying. This is the very first coil. It's nice and dry, it has a little bit of hold there. So I know once it diffuses, it's gonna be extra gorgeous. Look at how pretty this is. And it moves. Come on now, literally frizz nowhere to be seen any pieces that i felt like were getting frizzy as i was styling i just applied a little extra gel this really lays things down i love this gel this is going to be my gel of the summer i just have to figure out the combo that keeps things lightweight shiny moisturized but gives me the hold that i'm missing my low porosity hair is eating this up though moisture retention is there even the ends that have to get cut look juicy. This is, don't play with it. You need two products to get you in. We can't just leave it like this. We can't, we have to diffuse it cause I need to lock this in and we're done. We are fully diffused. It didn't hold as much of the definition and coil as I thought, but look at how voluminous and soft and big and it has so much movement. It is still frizz free, it looks really good so i'm happy with it because i typically don't get this much volume right off the bat i don't think that it will last longer than two days because it's so soft and big already i do like a crunchy firm hold because then when i break the cast day two ish it gives me longevity and more days so i may not get that many days out of this we'll see i'm actually gonna i'm gonna show you guys the day two and three and you guys give me your opinions but right now the way that this look is looking i'm a very happy girl it is just so big and my wash and go process went so much faster because these two products are very slippery and easy to work with this is the very first section that we did this is how it dried see how the coil is just so cute like you can smooth it down and still get good results, but a coil for me, for my thicker hair type, it really enjoyed that thicker coil. So yeah, like I do love the result. I'm really hoping I get some days out of this cause it's a look. Oh, so good. I don't even need to stretch this or fluff it out. It's like just ready to go. I love, love, love what this combo is able to do for me. Again, Brazilian mommies, poppies, and American mommies and poppies, we are now one. We are now one. Salon Papa. No, Salon Do. Do Line. Ooh, Do Line. Do Line. Salon Line Aloe Gel and the Do Big Papa Gel. This is what you get. This is what you get right here. A voluminous, defined, soft, beautiful wash and go. Honestly, too, a quick comment. Brazilian products definitely encourage voluminous 
results. I don't think any Brazilian products that I've liked have not caused my hair to dry voluminous and I really like that. This is how it looked day two and this is how it looked day three. That is all. If you have any questions, product suggestions, or questions about either of these products, go ahead and comment down below right now because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.